Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Ryan Matouche. Well, we saw another warm and windy day today, very similar to what we saw yesterday. The difference with tonight, though, is chance for rain and a few thunderstorms to develop. So let's break that down. Satellite and radar keeping an eye on northeast Kansas for us. Showers moving through the Kansas City area. Some thunderstorms developing well out to the west near Concordia. These thunderstorms could move in to our neck of the woods here in the next several hours. And if those thunderstorms can sustain themselves, we could be seeing some stronger to maybe even severe. We'll break that down here in just a minute. Now, nationally, we do have to talk about our jet stream diving down from the north, giving us this sort of valley like pattern. This is what we call a trough, and it is a textbook trough. And what that essentially means is we are gearing up for a pretty big storm system to move into northeast Kansas, and we're going to be seeing some rain and out west over the Rockies, even some snow. Uh, being picked up on the upper elevations. Of course, we won't see any snow, but here in the central plains, we will still be seeing some activity outside our clay center cam. Uh, something interesting to note right here, a little bit fuzzy, but we actually have some dust on the horizon with the approach of that system and might be able to see our camera shake there just a little bit with those high winds moving through northeast Kansas. Right now, 84 degrees, dew points near 60, plenty of moisture in place to help with those rain chances and strong winds out of the south sustained at about 30 miles an hour. And that's pretty typical, pretty common when you see such a strong uh, system approaching. Now we are watching middle 80s across the I-70 corridor, 80 in Hiawatha, 82 in Marysville. Very warm, very pleasant, but very windy. Take a look at this 52 miles an hour out of the south being registered for wind gusts in Concordia, 51 in Emporia, 47 in Manhattan, then 41 miles an hour being registered here in Topeka. So hold on to your belongings, but it won't last forever. Uh, those wind chances will die down just after midnight. 85 today for our high, good 20 degrees above average for this time of year. Honestly, not too far off from the record of 92 set back in 19. 39. Let's break down our temperatures because we have a bit of an interesting story developing here. 70s just after 10 o'clock tonight. There's our cold front right there. We can just see the temperature difference across the northwest side of the viewing area and our highs for the day will likely be in the middle 70s, but those highs will happen just after midnight and as the rest of the day goes on, we're going to be stuck in the 50s, maybe lower 60s as we head towards the four or five o'clock hour. So even though the high for the day will say 70, it's not going to be 70 for long at all. Heading into Tuesday, we will be in the 60s as a much cooler air mass takes over. Now, as far as those wind chances go out of the south through about midnight, winds change directions early tomorrow morning. That is our cold front passing through. Now breaking it down stronger to maybe severe thunderstorms can develop just after eight or nine o'clock tonight, mostly for the northwestern viewing area. That cold front starts to set up just after midnight. and It's going to really start to push through early tomorrow morning. Heavy rain possible for just about everyone just after lunchtime tomorrow. And then by about seven o'clock, things begin to clear up and another quick round of rain will be possible early Tuesday morning before the main system leaves northeast Kansas. Now again, Storm Prediction Center keeping an eye on the northwest side of the viewing area for the best chance for strong to severe weather. Temperatures will be dropping after midnight tonight. Most of the day tomorrow will be stuck in the 50s for a pretty big change in the forecast. Now moving forward, 71 tomorrow, Tuesday 61, rain just about all day tomorrow. Wednesday, we are talking about 60s in the area, and then rain chances move in Thursday and Friday. Nothing gets people more excited about a Monday than all day rain. It is. And gusty wind. I think, <laughs> I think cozy is going to be a good word oh, for it. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, again, we've got your scores coming up. In fact, from the Chiefs game. Also, a